Here is a sight spirit level. It's okay. It's not the best quality in the world. It's not as good as Sibila, a bubble in spirit, hence a spirit level. So what we do is, if we want to check this level for level, the horizontal plane, we grab a pencil, we run a line along it, mark the ends, and let's just make sure that we actually place the level in exactly the same place as we did when we done the first measurement. We look at the bubble, and if the bubble's like hard over one side or the other, mark it where it is on the actual glass, if you can see it okay, I can see that fine. In this case, this table here, or this my bench here, is 100% level, and also the bubble is appearing in the middle, so I'm assuming the level's quite good. But to check it, let's say, for instance, we were on an incline and the, the bench was like that, we could turn it around, and if it's still in the same position, you know your level's correct. Your bench might not be, but your level's correct. So what we'll do is we'll turn this around, line up exactly where I had it last time, so where I marked the ends and the, and the line that I marked on my bench there, exactly the same place. I then check the bubble and to see whether or not it is in exactly the same place, which it is. It is pretty much bang on in between the central marks of the spirit level. So that is how you check for level regarding your spirit level. And that applies to any length of level whether it be a short level, such as, in this case, you see also that that, that that bubble is bang on in the middle. So we know the tabletop is 100% level. And good job I know because I work off this. There is also another check we need to do. Now this one here, on the side of this particular level, because there's an adjustable vial here, you spin these around to whatever angle you like. But if you know if this level is 100% level or true on the plum as well as the level, you can actually use this to check whether or not this is 100% level. Now, how do we check the plum? The plum is provided to us by these bubbles, the 90 degree bubbles, usually on each end of your level, but these ones are on the end. Sometimes you'll have a 45 degree on one end and then the standard plumb on the other. Now, we basically exercise exactly the same principle as we did when we're doing the level. So what we do is we grab our camera. So what we do is we grab our camera <laughs> and our level. And what we have to do is um, find a surface that you feel comfortable using. Ah, oh, here we go, this is perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to use <laughs> for this little test, I'm going to use my table saw because I know that that is most definitely true from top to bottom. It hasn't got a bend in it. What we must do is also make sure there's no bit, because this is a magnetic level, so you could have like screws or nails stuck to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that on here like so. Like a visual of the bubble. In this case, it is... Fractionally to the left, I'm just going to mark the bubble. All the drywall wall markers are quite good for this job. So then we do the turn in the plumb again, and we check for level again. Now, now I'm fairly confident now that this level on that bubble is considerably out. So I'm going to write on this bubble, or near the bubble, bad. That will remind me that that vial is out. So it needs adjusting. I don't know if it's possible with this one or not, but I would say that needs adjusting. Anyway, that's how you, uh, <laughs> on the floor, <laughs> that's how you um, test or check for level and plumb for your spirit level. So anyway, that is how I check for level and plumb with my spirit level. So give us a thumbs up. Well, yeah, and um, press subscribe and like and God knows what else. And anyway, thank you for watching.